If I play my E chord, if I move it, one step is gonna be an F. So all I have to do is to place this whole finger here and play that chord. I'm placing my index finger here and covering this. So we have an F. So if I move this a step, we have an F sharp. So one thing I learned about notes, our notes are movable, right? What I mean is that, remember from our theory I talked about, and you should know that this is your E, right? E. Then this is your F, F sharp, right? G, G sharp, A, B, C, right? So this is how we get notes on your fretboard. If you don't know about the fretboard, I have a tutorial that talks about the fretboard and I'll drop the link in this video under the description. So check it out. So if you go to the next string, the same thing, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, and it goes down, right? Now, I figured out, I, or I learned, that chords are also movable. Wow, isn't that awesome? So meaning if we have an E, this is meant to be an F. Using that concept I just talked about, this would be an E, an F, an F sharp, a G, G sharp. Then we have an A, A sharp, B, C, right? But you notice that we are getting some kind of ringing sounds that we might not necessarily want. So, and it's because some notes are open and up and are not part of the chords. So, the concept of back chords is simple. All you have to do is instead of me playing my regular E with this index finger, middle finger, and my ring finger, instead of this, I'll substitute with these fingers instead. So, I'll have my index finger hanging, then I play this, right? So, all I have to do is now, if this is my E, it means if I move a step based on this explanation that after E is F, F sharp. So meaning if I play my E chord, if I move it one step, it's going to be an F. So all I have to do is to place this whole finger here and play that, that chord. I'm placing my index finger here and covering this. So we have an F. So if I move this a step, we have an F sharp. If I move this, we have a G. G sharp, we have an A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, like that. This secret blew my mind. The first day I learned it, so that's what made me to learn back on like very easy. So you should check it out and practice a lot of it. So let me go over it again. Remember, notes are movable. So we have from the concept that this is E. F, F sharp, right? G, G sharp, right? Sorry, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, right? Imagine using that concept, not with notes now, but with chords. So, E, F, F sharp. Now, let's use our E chord. E chord, F chord, F sharp chord, but it's not sounding like what you are hearing because some notes are not part of the chords. So all we have to do is to cover here, bar here, and play the same chords we are playing. So we have E in the slide, then bar here, F, F sharp, G sharp, A, um, A sharp, B, C. Yeah, so that's the secret I learned about power um, about barcode. So I think you should check it out. I and mean, it's something that is gonna help you if you are starting out learning the guitar, you don't understand um barcodes. So for more tutorials like this, I have a lot of videos on my channel. Please make sure you watch more of these. I explain a lot of concepts that usually give beginners difficulties. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share to someone that needs, and make sure you come around next time to learn more stuff. See you around. Cheers.